Asra and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be discussing about Ramanujan and his life story and also we are going to be discussing about why India marks National Mathematics Day on December 22nd. So without further ado, let's just add into this video. Ramanujan's genius has been regarded by mathematicians to be at par with Euler and Jacobi from the 18th and 19th centuries respectively. December 22nd, the birth anniversary of India's famed mathematician Srinivasa Ramanujan is celebrated as National Mathematics Day. In his memory, the prestigious Royal Society of which Ramanujan became a fellow in 1918 tweeted on Sunday, Srinivasa Ramanujan FRS, the Indian mathematician was born on this day in 1887. Though he passed away just aged 32, his talent and research left an indelible mark on mathematics. Who was Srinivasa Ramanujan and why his work in mathematics important? Ramanujan was born in 1887 in Erodu, Tamil Nadu, the Madras Presidency. In an Iyengar Brahmin family at age 12, despite lacking of formal education, he had excelled at trigonometry and developed many theorems by himself. After finishing secondary school in 1904, Ramanujan became eligible for a scholarship to study at the Government Art College, Kumbakonam, but could not secure the same since he did not do well in other subjects. At the age of 14, Ramanujan ran away from home and enrolled at Pachai Yappas College in Madras where too he would only excel in mathematics without managing to wade through remaining subjects and was unable to graduate with the fellow of arts degree. Living in dire poverty, Ramanujan then purchased independent research in mathematics. Ramanujan was soon noticed in Chennai's mathematics circle. In 1912, Ramaswamy Iyer, founder of the Indian Mathematical Society, helped him get a cloak position at the Madras Port Trust. Ramanujan then began sending his work to British mathematicians. His breakthrough arrived in 1913 when the Cambridge-based G. H. Hardy wrote back. Impressed with Ramanujan's theorems and work related to infinite series, Hardy called him to London. In 1914, Ramanujan arrived in British in where Hardy got him to Trinity College, Cambridge in 1917. Ramanujan was elected to be a member of the London Mathematical Society. In 1918, he also became a fellow of the Royal Society, becoming one of the youngest to achieve the feat. His success in England notwithstanding, Ramanujan could not get accustomed to the country's diet and returned to India in 1919. Ramanujan's health continued to deteriorate and he died in 1920 at the age of 32. An exhibit on the Royal Society website says on the mathematician, the loss of Ramanujan at such a young age was certainly a blow to the scientific community who were left imagining what he might have gone on to achieve. His work in the number theory is especially regarded and he made advances in the partition function. Ramanujan was recognized for his mastery of continued fractions and had worked out the Ramian series, elliptic integrals, hypogeometric series and the functional equations of the zeta function. After his death, Ramanujan left behind three notebooks and some pages containing unpublished results on which mathematicians continued to work on for many, many years. The Dev Patel, starter The Man Who Knew Infinity in 2015, was a diopic of the mathematician. In 2012, former Prime Minister Mo Manmohan Singh declared December 22nd as National Mathematics Day. So guys, that's the end of this video. I hope you learned a lot about why India declared 22nd December as the National Mathematical Day and uh, some of the history of Srinivasa Ramanujan. So basically mathematics is, one, uh, is my favorite subject, not one of. 
it's like my number one favorite subject because mathematics when we are solving the equations it's like a game to like uh, solve the puzzle and get to the end of the puzzle like when we complete a puzzle we feel very happy so that's how i feel when i like solve a very complicated equation and tell it to my teacher so yeah if you like this video don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel for more content like this thanks so much for watching bye